Good morning. Today I'm going to teach you how to water your dragon fruit. Now, dragon fruit are actually epiphytic, night blooming cacti, and they're very drought tolerant once established. This plant would survive here on just rainfall alone, but it would never flower or fruit. And dragon fruit have a special adaptation, and it's called CAM, C A M, CAM photosynthesis. And what that basically means is that their stomata will open at night. So in here, the stomata will open at night and they basically delay the timing. They change the timing of photosynthesis, which is amazing to me. So in Paul Thompson's book, he talks about a friend that was using drip irrigation and having great success. So I use drip irrigation and I water during the growing season every other day just for a short duration in the evening because the best time to water your dragon fruit is actually around 10 o'clock after the soil cools. Now in this case I watered these recently and uh, I notice when it's time to water the soil will come dry up a bit and there will be a little gap between your pot and your soil and that means that's when I know it's time to water my dragon fruit. So I don't need to water this anymore but I do want to show you I will additionally do a, a drenching and I'll use either a compost tea or just hose water and I water it about 7 to 14 gallons per week for this 20 gallon pot. Now Linda Nickerson used about five to seven gallons a week on her mature plants and said that was sufficient. So again, I use about seven to 14 gallons of water during the growing season. Now in the winter, I don't water at all. I only let rainfall uh, water the plants, but I do run the drip if it's gonna be a frosty night because uh, wet mo moist soil will retain more heat than dry soil. So that's a good tip. So I only water during a really cold time of year to keep the plants from freezing. All right, let me go show you in the greenhouse. All right, so here's the greenhouse. And basically this section is my rooted section. So anything rooted, whether it be grafted or not, I have them in this side of the greenhouse and I will water them really heavily almost every day. So I usually actually use a smaller one, it takes longer, but I really wanna show you how much water I like to give them. So definitely a lot of water, about every other day to every day. I would say five to seven times a week, depending on the heat and the temperature in our area. Now on the other side over here, I have the non-rooted section. So most of these are just barely getting rooted some are very hard to root, like yellow cross 68 or yellow tie. So what I will do is I'll just give them a lot of really light watering, but mostly on the plant flesh. So again, mostly on the plant flesh until they will root. And I use a bit of rooting hormone, which I hope you've seen our episode on as well. And then I'll check them every week or so. So some of them just take their time. So that's what I do, a much lighter watering on my uh, new cuttings that I'm rooting and again mostly on the plant flesh. So I hope that helps. That is how I water my dragon fruit. All right, have a wonderful day. Take care.